بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور کیمسٹری ٹیچر آف کلاس ایٹ اینڈ وی آر اسٹڈنگ چیپٹر نمبر ون فنڈامنٹلز آف کیمسٹری ٹوڈے از لیکچر نمبر الیون ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ مکسچر اٹس کلاسیفیکیشن ہوموجینس اینڈ ہائیڈروجینس مکسچر اینڈ سم ایگزامپلس آف مکسچر air soil milk and brass so in today's lecture we continue our from previous lecture that is example of mixture air soil milk and brass difference between compound and mixture and revision of the formula of common compounds that we are revising from our previous lectures now what is air as a mixture so air is a mixture of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide noble gas and water vapors so dear students when we ask a question in your test that what is air as a mixture then you have to answer air is a mixture of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide noble gases and water vapors and the next example of mixture is soil so soil is a mixture of sand clay mineral salts water and air what is milk as a mixture milk is a mixture of water sugar fat proteins mineral salts and vitamins dear students in the components of a mixture retain their properties their properties are shown in the mixture so brass brass is a mixture of copper copper is a metal and zinc zinc is also a metal so both of the two metals copper and zinc combine to form brass so dear students our main and very important topic according to the examinational point of view that is difference between compound and mixture so Here is the difference between compound and mixture which is as an extract from the definitions of compound and the definition of mixture. The first mixture first difference between the two is it is formed by chemical combination of atoms of the elements. So compound is formed when elements com- at, at atoms of an elements combine. but mixture is formed by simple mixing up of the substances when any substance whichever in any form these two substances are mixed with any ratio they com- form a mixture the second is again i repeat it is formed by a chemical combination of atoms of the element and mixture is formed by simple mixing up of the substances the second one is the constituents lose their identity the word constituents is basically called components so components lose their identity or the ingredients or components or constituents constituents lose their identity lose their representation and form a new substance having entirely different properties from them mixture shows the properties of the constituents which means that if you are eating an ice cream which is a mixture then the properties of ice cream are shows by its components whenever we add in the ice cream which is chocolate pistachio almond all other substances that are you are having a taste from your tongue so these are the components of a mixture which are showing their properties compounds always have fixed composition by a mass whatever we studied about the two examples in our previous lecture one is from carbon dioxide and one is from water so you can consult again from the previous lecture compound always have fixed composition the composition of water was 1 ratio 8 so always compound is formed with a fixed ratio 
and mixture do not have any fixed ratio so if if we have a water then we put some salt in it with one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon we mix the water with salt we have a mixture salt and water so water and sugar sugar and water we make mixture with any ratio so mixture do not have fixed composition and the fourth point is the component cannot be separated by physical means the components cannot be separated by physical means whereas in mixtures the component can be separated by simple physical methods dear students i promise you that i will explain the terms of the physical method that i have told you in the previous lecture such as filtration magnetization distillation etc etc these are the methods so inshallah we will explain these methods in the, our next lecture every compound is represented by a chemical formula like water has ch2o but at in the compared to in the mixture it consists of two or more components and does not have any chemical formula it just has a common name like ice cream is a common name in which different substances are formed together with any ratio and they form a mixture compounds have homogeneous composition homogeneous means same show as a single phase are called homogeneous composition which means that when you look at the water each and every component of water has homogeneous composition but mixture have may be comp homogeneous composition or heterogeneous composition so we have discussed in the previous lecture about homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture in detail so please if you don't have any concept please consult the previous lecture so compounds have sharp and fixed melting points which means that a pure substance or pure compound have a property that at the point at which it starts melting is fixed so we can say that compounds have a fixed melting point means that if a compound have a melting point 10 celsius degree so it always melts at 10 celsius which is called its purity but mixture do not have any sharp and fixed melting points at any uh, melting it, it, they have melting and boiling points according to their composition according to their number of components that they have so dear students these are the seven points and which are which is which are very important according to the examinational point of view so you have to learn and practice and read this question difference between in compound and mixture and uh, with a special attention and you have to practice it again and again because this question is very much important according to the examinational point of view so dear students in the last some common compounds with their formula so i write the last four one chemical cal calcium carbonate limestone and its formula is cacio3 fourth one is sugar c12 h22o11 sulfuric acid h2so4 ammonia nh3 so these are the four formulas that you have to be learn and write the following four formulas thrice practice these formulas dear student so in the end i have an assignment for you to learn and practice dear student the first question is differentiate between compound and mixture in detail so it is a very important question so you write down the differences between compound and mixture in detail and a second question is what is brass so what is a what you can say that what is a mixture of what is a brass as a mixture and the last allah hafiz